We got uh, an email from a woman who's interested in registering for the retreat. And she noticed that in our messaging during erotic recess, we say orgasm is not the goal. So why do we say that, Carlin? Well, I know. And her fear was that I'm coming to have my first orgasm, please. And we get it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when we take orgasm is always the goal, right? So imagine it. You're for a couple of decades. It's I have this goal that I can never achieve. Mm -hmm. And every time I touch myself alone or I'm with a partner, I'm failing. Mm -hmm. And no one likes failure. And then mm -hmm. that's what you have all of the, And then you get into those stress hormones, right? So now I failed again, failed mm -hmm. again. So what we're saying is let's take orgasm as the goal off the table. Right. Let's go through a series of rituals mm -hmm. and enjoy the good feelings. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's do yes. vulva massage, no orgasm, and just figure out what feels best on my, what areas on my vulva feel mm -hmm. best. And if we take it from that, if we shift that intention, we shift all that energy and we let go of that failure, because what is orgasm like? I like joy and lightness and fun and playfulness. And mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get in that mental, emotional state of it's all good. Yes. Yes. When you pay attention to the good feelings in your body, it gets you out of your head. Um, it, when you make orgasm the goal, it takes you away from pleasure because you're in your head. I'm taking too long. What do I need to do? You start, at least I used to, I got self-critical in my head when, when orgasm became the goal. Um, some of the greatest advice I ever got, Carlin, was from you because I used to be very goal oriented um, in orgasm. And you said, let the orgasm come to you. Like, don't chase the orgasm. Let the orgasm come to you. And I really, really worked on that. And it, it shifted everything for me. So now I'm much more mindful in pleasure. And when the orgasm comes, the orgasm comes, but it's, it's not, it's not the goal. Pleasure is the goal and being in the moment is the goal. And the orgasms come. So it's mm -hmm. really also shifting our mindset. When mm -hmm. orgasm is the goal, we're stuck in scarcity. Right. It's not going to happen. It's not happening. It's taking too long. Da, 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 da. Forget it. Like it's gone. The orgasm is like, whew, not what I like. Mm -hmm. We're coming from abundance. Yes. We know that our bodies are wired for pleasure. We know that we have the most sophisticated sex organ on the planet capable of endless pleasure mm -hmm. that never ages. So I'm just going to take some time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to touch my body and I know the orgasm will come. Right. There's no reason why it should be blocked. I know that Carlin has worked with women who are disabled and paralyzed from the waist down and had their clitoral glands removed because they're FGM survivors and had strokes and all these things. And guess what? They got to the orgasm. So nothing can block a woman's orgasm. You have to believe it. And believing it means I let go of that goal. Yes. There's no question if it's going to happen. We know it is.